What's up creators, it's Curtis here and in today's video I wanted to show you some of the possibilities of our canvas system because there's a lot of new features we've been adding to it and I thought it would take a video to at least just show you some of the possibilities. It's really really powerful now and it's only going to continue to get better. Uh, so with that being said, I'm over here on one of my test collections. You can see I have 10 different um, listings here, 10 different designs uploaded. And I also have, you know, a couple different mockups generated for these that I can use for this example. For instance, this mockup three here has a transparent background, which is really cool. So I'm going to get into that. So I'm going to go over to the Canvas system. And as you can see, you open this up, have all 10 designs selected. So again, how the Canvas system works and how my designs works, we're trying to make it so much easier to do everything in bulk. So you don't have to repeat these time consuming processes over and over and over. Instead, you can basically set things up how you like, click a sync button in this case with the Canvas system and have it apply to all selected listings. So it's really powerful and I'm quite certain that a lot of people aren't aware of the different ways you can use this. So I'm going to cover some of those today in this video. Uh, so let's go ahead and get started. Um, we added a few new features first. You can see we have opacity. So you can add the trend. You can uh, basically add the transparency to your images. Um, we have, of course, all these aligned features up here, but we also have a layering system built into this now. So you can move this design up and down. Um, and then also this upload feature, or you can drag and drop your own images right into the Canvas system now, which is really powerful. So I'm going to do that right now. Uh, I'm going to actually grab, let's say, actually I'll do that in a minute. I'm going to first go over to one of my mockups I already have created. As you can see here, mockup three, I can just change the input slot and use that. And I'm gonna actually use this new feature here. It's called Fit Canvas to Image Size. So if you click this, it's gonna actually move the canvas size to the size of my image, which is 2000 by 1500 pixels, which is perfect for Etsy thumbnails and mockups. So with that being said, you can see this does have a transparent background. Now I have a lot of different options and things I can do in here with this. Uh, now with this upload feature, you know I can actually add elements to my canvas. So I'm gonna go ahead and add this MD, this My Designs logo. You can see it's behind the shirt, so I'm going to use this layering system, move it to the top, size it down a bit, and I'm going to put this down in the bottom corner. You see this with a lot of really popular selling products or best selling products on Etsy. They usually have little elements um, on the primary uh, mock-up, which is smart. It kind of captures the uh, customer's attention. So that, in a sense, could be your shop logo. And I'm going to upload one more, like a 50% off. I'll make this the red one. Again, it's behind. I'm going to move it to the front and uh, move that over here. Let's make it a little smaller. And I'll just put this maybe right here. And now if I go to the next listing, you'll see it's not synced. It has my input file, but it's the old canvas. So it's really cool about my designs and our whole bulk, um, uh, bulk features is I can just click the sync button and it'll apply everything that I have on this page to all listings. So I sync it. Now you can see that I have those elements on all 10 of these listings. That's really, really powerful. So now let's say I like what I have here, but maybe I want to add a background color. I can click this and I'm just going to add, let's go yellow maybe. It's an example. I'm not getting the right color there, but you could do anything like that or I go white. You get the idea. So that's because I have a transparent background behind that original mock-up. So let's say I like that. I could go ahead and just create, let's call this test one. And I'm going to apply that in bulk. And you'll see that it'll apply to all 10 of these listings. So I'll show you that as soon as it's complete. All right, and that's already done. So I'm gonna move the file slot over. Let's change this to this grid view. And as you can see, oh, you see these ones don't have the background because I forgot to click that sync button. So that's why it's only on this one, which is also really nice because if you wanna add different background colors to all your different listings, in this case, you can do that very easily. But that's just one of the possibilities. Now let's go back to the Canvas system. I'm going to show you a few more. I'm going to actually upload, because I think this is going to be a really popular feature, because a lot of you traditionally would take, like let's say, a blank mock-up, like a JPEG file, go over to canva.com, upload that, put your design on top of the shirt, add a little opacity, and then download it and use that as your mock-ups. Now with my designs, of course, we have really high-quality mock-ups within our mock-ups generator, where you can do that all that in bulk. But this also starts to enable... Um, the simpler mock-up. So if you have a little flat lay mock-up like this one, I'm going to upload this from my computer. I'm going to move it to the front. Use that fit canvas size. And then I'm going to grab this other image and make it fit. So now you can see I have this uh, my mock-up from my computer uploaded. 
And I'm gonna take this design, let me grab it, move it out here for a moment, and center this. Had the wrong one selected. Put that here, move this to the front, and I'll make this smaller. So if I wanted to essentially do what you would do on Canva, you can now do that in my designs in bulk with your own JPEG files as your base mockups. You could upload that. Maybe I want to turn that just a tiny bit. And that's good on the sizing. I'm going to add a background color. Actually, I'm going to use a different uh, option here, but I'm going to click sync real quick. So now you can see it all rotate through my other uploaded designs. Looks beautiful. And now one more thing. I actually used our AI system, the dream feature we have, and I generated this white wood background. So I'm going to upload this and kind of show you some of the various possibilities. It's obviously too big, so I'm going to hit vertical. And now I have a mock-up of my own custom AI generated background right here in my design. So if I like that, I'm going to create another file slot. And maybe I also wanted to add some of those elements to this. I'll just add this logo for this example. Move up to the top. Put that over in the bottom corner. And now sync again, and then apply. And when that's done, I'll show you that right here in this test two file slot. Okay, so that's done. Let me move over to test two, and we'll take a look. As you can see, got some of these mockups built quickly in bulk using just a blank JPEG from our computer. And of course, the design we already had uploaded to my designs. That's really, really nice. And that opens up so many possibilities for you as one of our users. Now I'm going to go back to the canvas system. This has been a highly requested feature. This is a little bit of a workaround way to do it for now, but it works. So let's say you have a care card, a thank you card, or one of those basically generic images that are going to be on all of your Etsy listings. And you want to add that to these listings before you go publish them. That way you don't have to manually upload on Etsy or manually upload on my designs. Um, one way you can do that is I'm going to move this over here and actually probably just turn the opacity down to zero so you can't see it. I'm going to upload, this is an example here. I'll upload this card and I'm going to fit the canvas to the size of this. See that one's over there still. Now I have this card. Let's say this is what you wanted. You're going to put that on all listings. I'll just say card and create a file slot that store that in and click sync. So now you can apply that to every listing. There's a lot of other possibilities you could do with that too, but let's just go ahead and apply that. And that way it'll generate that and place it in this card file slot for every single one of these listings. So that's a nice little workaround uh, to basically add your own care cards, thank you cards, etc., to your listings in bulk instead of manually one by one dragging and dropping into here. And of course, you can also open up, it also opens up a lot of other possibilities too. Let me switch over to this card slot. That should be done any moment. And there you go. So now you have that on all of these. And uh, the preview for some reason on the thumbnails, it doesn't obviously have this here. So if you open this up, you'll see. It's a nice high quality image. It looks great. But that is some of those are some of the possibilities with the Canvas system. There's a lot more you can do um, with it, but I do recommend you experiment with it and try it out because there's a lot of really powerful options now. But anyway, that's it for this video. If you guys have questions, let me know by leaving a comment below. I'm looking forward to seeing your feedback. We have some really incredible features in the works. And as always, we're going to continue to improve everything we do have. But that's it for this video. I'll talk soon.